morning, good morning. I'm scheming on Halloween, but I was painting yesterday. Does this show watercolor? There's Van Gogh watercolor right there. This has gold in it. I don't know if that's showing up. Maybe. This is just browns and oranges. But it's cold here this morning. It's 59 degrees when we woke up. That is super cold for this time of year and for here. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do. At all. But I know we're, we've got maybe two days left. Today, this one, and the next one. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know what this is today. Okay. We're having a victory party. Buy the textiles for the, the recovery of the art. So, I think the textiles, yeah, these are the, are these the textiles? We almost used all of our, here's the textiles, all of our art. We've got a couple pieces left. Um, but we pretty much used everything I had originally printed. There's a couple more um, impressionists. This I think was from Armenian gospel book. That is just gorgeous, but I can use these in other places. Just not maybe in this journal now. Did I have a paper clip? I thought I did. Um, so, we're having a party. A victory party. Here's my paper clip. Right here. And it's in the area of the museum by the textiles. So we can we can do a party scene, can't we? We need some bugs, though, I believe, for party people. Let's see. Let's get out one of each. I have a lot left over, but they will end up in my Hobonichi or other strange places along the way. <laughs> Just because this was fun for me, for sure. <clears throat> um, it stretched my imagination. These can go in my Hobonichi, or these might go in my early pages here that I left open. Like the bad guys. These are the good guys. These are the bad guys. I could just put this right here. I'll be... Oops. Bad guys. Good guys. Okay. That would be perfectly fine. Um, especially since it was my original stuff. Um, I don't know. In hindsight, I didn't need to have so many introductory pages. Still haven't come up with a title page. That might be. We might have three more days left. Alright, I got today's pictures story can go here and I have a little bit it's a little bit different color black maybe not it's got a weave in it but I'm going to add these to the back I used up all the extra pages so even still I thought I had too many come to find out now I don't have enough <laughs> not unusual in my life so I'll have to add a couple more pages but that's not for today that's the next couple days at least one more page for sure. I'm going to tape this in with some big washi tape. Ha! Huh. These are Tiffany windows. There's Tiffany window display at the Metropolitan. Because he was from New York, obviously. Or was he? He was from that area. Yeah. And the Tiffany window people are the same Tiffany jewelry store people. I have earrings from Tiffany's. They're silver. That's all I could afford. They're not diamonds or gold. But I wear them all the time. I only wear like four or five pairs of earrings. 
I'm very um, basic when it comes to jewelry and monogamous. Monogamous. I like the same pieces over and over. Had my doctor's appointment yesterday. Everything went good. I am no longer on the borderline of a diabetic, which all of my sisters and all of us have to be careful of, which my sisters are both borderline diabetics now. Sorry, sisters. Um, I know one of them watches every once in a while. And even though one wasn't told, it seems like, but her numbers are the same as the other sister by a fraction off. So, I... A good sister. Just kidding, sister. One sister takes me literally. She knows where she is. Saying out of the kindness of my heart. Okay, I'm going to put this in because this is Van Gogh colors, in my opinion. And we've used these colors a lot. So I'm going to put this in by double sided tape because this is not quite card stuff, but it's heavy, heavier. And I'll be back. Well, as usual, I failed at this. I ripped my papers too narrow, so half the double-sided tape sticks out. But I'm adding Dina Wakeley or Diane Reevely's washi tape, which kind of looks like a party banner. And it brings in the red. I'm not so sure I want to take this off. It sticks out. But I don't know. I think I'm going to glue these in here. Um, oh, I have one on the back. I forgot about this guy. Um, just to tack them down. Just a little bit of glue. I've been on Pinterest this morning. Theoretically, uh, totally ready for Halloween. Ready. And I have one, one more thing doctor's appointment wise to do before I go to the beach. Then I have a couple more in October. But it's coordinated. The girl at the office yesterday, my doctor has a new nurse and she is fabulous. Let's put some James Burke washi tape in here too because he's nothing but a good party guy. Or he seems to be. Um, plus his washi tape is crazy. And I love it. She got me, um, I have to have two tests and she got them scheduled back to back in one building all the way over at the main hospital, but that's okay. And um, that brings in some red. Which is, this is the textiles where they're having the party. Here's the bugs coming to the party. Hold on, it can only be the good guys, right? Not the bad guys. Um, none of these are bad guy bugs. This is Caleb. This is Nadal. This is nobody. This is Jose. Okay, we're good on our bugs. Okay. Now, that's as far as I've gotten. But anyhow, so I have to come back in October for some follow-up stuff. But that's okay. These colors look awful together, but I'm going with it because this is the Van Gogh colors. This is the, where the party is. And let's see. This is going to call for some Amy Tangerine washi tape because I have a couple of hers that are like confetti type of deals. Oh, here's a Japanese one that's confetti. Here's a wash, a heart one. Here's polka dots and stuff. And those are kind of like party. 
pipes. And that's what we're after. Okay, we have popsicles at our at our um party. That's Amy's too. And I think she is coming back for her old journaling habits as opposed to all of her planners which I love her planners too not my style well that's not true not my planner type but I love the bright colors and everything that she puts in hers okay how should we do this let's start with some wild Japanese colors here. Some of this stuff I think is just getting old. I need to use it. It's hard to peel. I'm really a lot more diligent about using it in my Midori Ichi and in some of the art journals that I play with. Oh yeah, this is ice creams. Like ice cream cones and ice cream sundaes. But you really can't tell unless you're really up close. So I think what I'm going to do is like that kind of stuff. I had a bunch of little metal rulers like this one, but small. I can't find any of them. I ordered a pack. I thought I ordered one and I ended up ordering a pack years ago. Now let's put some Amy. I'm not so sure if these are her hearts, but they look just like her hearts. This is kind of like party confetti. Yeah, it's cold here this morning. We're supposed to have yesterday was gorgeous. Um, no humidity at all. Or if we're so used to humidity, if there was any, we couldn't feel it. Okay, I've got a teeny tiny bit of white showing here. But today. So far, no humidity, and it's really cool. But poor Pennsylvania, boy, oh boy. They got as much of the storm as Louisiana and Mississippi did from Ida. They have flooding everywhere. Oops, I need to put the dates on here. This tile is from 600. Peruvian, in honor of our Peruvian returning visitor in real life. She's not Peruvian anymore, but she knows who she is. And she's had some major issues with internet service. I would go crazy. So yes, I said I was, so welcome back Peruvian fan. Um, I'm majorly ready for Halloween. Usually I get like this. It takes me several days to get into a project. And then about two days from the end, I'm like, okay, I'm finished. <laughs> like, no, keep going. I have loved doing this, really. Quite a bit. And it's branched me out into making um, hmm. Okay, this one is Islamic carpet from 1400s. It's it's given me a new pathway that I didn't know existed. Um and it's made me look at other 
pieces. I'm being very cryptic here, but uh, it's en enabled me to look at other types of art that's out there. And that has taken me down avenues of all kinds of stuff that probably will lend to my Halloween journal. That's what I'm trying to say. But I have like 18 Halloween journal ideas. So now, how do I narrow it down to maybe two? I don't think I want to put the bugs across the um, center just because we're at the back and it's really lumpy left stuff. And um, I'm afraid they'll get lost. And I'm not putting them down with um, Mod Podger, a medium of any kind. Okay, we've got the bugs. We've got the party p place. This is the party place. And now, let's make a banner. Can we make a banner? Freehand a banner? I need to make my story, don't I? I might just do a little tiny piece like this. Put it right here. It says party in the textile section. Victory party. Ignore my husband talking to the dog, if you can hear that. Annabelle. Arabella. You said that he was a cute little guy and he's gotten big. He has gotten big. Oh my God, is he full of mud and vinegar? Do you guys have that expression? Mud and vinegar. Which means he gets into all kinds of mischief. All right, I need a blue pen. I wonder if my blue gel pen will work on here. Probably. Yep. Okay. So, victory party in textile exhibits. <clears throat> come one, come. All. all right so let's actually put this on this side since all of our stories were on this side I can put a banner like right through here hooray or let's just put Van Gogh in the banner so I need V-A-N-G-O-G-H seven Ooh, which is my favorite number no wonder I like Van Gogh okay so we need seven seven uh, Pinnets. Let's use these metallics. So this has made me kind of explore other departments of creatures that I wouldn't have thought of on my own, possibly. Whoopsie, my hand is shaky. Okay, reverse running out of room too. Ah, that doesn't look good. Should I have to cover this up with more paper and start over? Or are we just going to go for it?
We're not doing Van Gogh, are we? Are we doing Monet? We're doing Monet. <sighs> Why do I... Have I been confused and interchanging the two this whole time? Would not put it past me. Monet. So we need to put M-O-N-E-T. Ay, ay, ay. We're going to have to cover this up. Luckily, I might have some more pretty paper. strip down here to kind of balance it out. What a dingleberry. M-O-N-E-T. Okay. So I need five. If I've been um, confused this whole time and confused the two of those, Monet and Van Gogh, don't tell me because it'll just burst my bubble the whole way because my brain doesn't work. Okay, I like that. Sometimes the notes that I take don't make it to my brain. They go off somewhere on their own. So let's just talk about Halloween. Let's not talk about my artwork blunder. Okay. Now we need to rip another little piece to put like down here to bring to follow it through. All right, where's my story? doesn't look so bad. It looks like a lot of afterthought though. This tape does not mush with these greens or this, but it's a party. Colorful. That's all I'm going for. Colorful. I think I'm not going to color these. Maybe with green. This is what happens when I try to walk and talk at the same time. That's why you've got a lot of voiceover this go around. Okay, let's glue these. Okay, then we are going to put in tiny writing somewhere about the textiles. Ay, ay, ay. Maybe on here. Put 
Peruvian from the 600s. And then Islamic carpet. Fourteen hundreds. So this is the Islamic carpet, and this is the Peruvian textile. It did say coastal Peruvians. Okay, let's see if we can get all this nailed down. Our banner hung. Monet. could stamp this with the little tiny stamps, but it's okay. We should have done one. Put Monet party. Let's do Monet party. When I say we, that means you're responsible for my mistakes too. <laughs> okay, this needs to be glued down. But I might have to tear up a wing of a butterfly and put it over the top. Okay, now there's enough going on of both shades of colors, warm and cool. Do I leave this here as party confetti? Let's take off this bit of washi tape. It's not come off anyhow. I don't know. I love this. It's so crazy. It's fun. Does that make sense? We got bugs. We got a bug party. I think I'm going to go around these with blue. Is that too much? Sometimes I don't know when to stop. Kind of like a scratchy frame. Okay. That's okay. Two, two. This is supposed to be one. I'm telling you, I'm shooting myself in the foot today. Can I put that there? <laughs> oh. Brain is needs to be engaged. Okay, now let's put this one here so that they kind of both match. So it looked intentional. Instead of a lot of covering up of mistakes. Okay. 
one, two. Now we're done. I kind of like it. It's wild. Oh, let's just look. Okay, these guys are going to get stuck in here. The leader of the bad guys, Claude. Leader of the good guys, Caleb. Second in control and third in control of the bad guys, Henry, which is Henrietta. She's a woman. And Jules. This one got put in upside down. The time when the good guys noticed the bad guys were on the move, planning something. Second and third in control of the good guys, Nadal and Javier. Then planning some meetings. Getting his soldiers gathered before the terrace of St. Audresse. I don't know how to say that. From Monet in 1867. Got that one right, Monet. The Javier and his regiment here steal at midnight. The night sky. Trying to get the real one out by trash can. With the trash. There's pieces of a Monet right there. And then there's one. And then this is where... Jose, the art forger, hides a tracking device. This is a new character in the in a fake Monet that he painted. And then they gather by the trash cans in the area of the Degas to stage a takeover. Alert! Theft in process. The Hums are attempting to haul out Monet's bridge over pond of water lilies from 1899. Okay, got that Monet right there too. They are unaware of two huge groups of Montes that are hiding inside the Buddha from the Tang Dynasty. They're up in her arms. And they crawled up the arms and they started to click their wings against the metal, scaring the hums. This showed, slowed them down tremendously. Claude Monet's signature. The rest of all the Monte soldiers hidden masks that didn't fit in the Buddha and the Paul Revere vessel tinkered. And then is the masterpiece in pieces, pieces of Monet. The fake was destroyed in pieces. The real masterpiece is back in its perfect spot, hanging on the wall. And then they had a victory party. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you all tomorrow on the last day.